source. Hey, uh, it's showtime. Showtime. showtime at the Performing Arts Center, or the PAC as they call it. I'm, I just learned that. I know it's yeah. horrible. Uh, it's this weekend <laughs> with Music Machine. Yeah, if you haven't heard of Music Machine and its founder and artistic director, Janet Carr Campbell, it's okay. You're going to meet her today and her 60 budding stars in today's All Good News. <laughs> Faces and their endless energy are why Janet Carr Campbell does what she does. Wow, a lot of energy on this stage, Dave. <laughs> and a lot of experience in this lady leading this troupe. This is year 42 and I'm the proud director of The Music Machine. And this, it's The Music Machine. Small, tall, boys and girls coming together for a showtime cause. How many? We have 60. 60 on stage between the ages of 6 and 18. So in addition to being a talented pianist and choreographer, Janet is also... That. I'm a good child wrangler. I don't know. Years of experience, I guess. It's like herding happy cats. Cats that like to sing and dance and the music machine? Well, it's a summer commitment for these cool cats. Six weeks. Four days a week, six weeks. So as you might imagine, Janet spends a lot of time patiently nudging short attention spans. Thank you that everybody should be moving. Whoa, whoa, okay, it's gotta fit. Half, thank you. Thank you. Really good. Liam, what are you doing? Here we go. And get where you are when we start We Love the USA. Shh, shh. Places. Okay, this is Singing in the Rain, Dance Machine Group 3. Let's enjoy it. So it's the discipline that frees you to express yourself. From every single child is going to make progress between being, you know, what they were on the first day of the program and what they're going to be at the performance this weekend. Janet founded a group to give an artful foundation to these fledgling stars. And they almost uh, are learning without realizing they're learning because it's done with a fun and loving way. So and like with showtime said, here at the right? Performing Arts Center just a few days away, rehearsals to empty seats will give way to a packed house and a show-stopping number. And the curtain may come down on another successful season, but Janet will carry on. Well, I don't know, keep on keeping on, right? Until you can't anymore. <laughs> I have no plans to stop at this point. And that's... Hi, my name's Izzy and it's my last year. All good news. I love that kid. I just want to applaud for them. That is so cool. Yeah, that is. That's right. And you were saying, I got to get my kids in there. Oh, they would love it. And the, just like she said, they're learning without realizing they're learning. Yeah, they're learning so many great skills. Well, you know, two weeks in summer camp. I remember those kids from my childhood. Yeah. Six weeks, Six four weeks. days a week doing a dance yeah. number. Yep. Uh, Janet, by the way, if you didn't figure this out, she's a dynamo and she has a yeah. lot of adult help there. Uh, shout out to Christina Walters, Nathan Rasmussen, and Hope Clark, just to name a few of the adults and parents and grandparents that help out. Yeah, the 2023 Music Machine New Music Review is coming up this weekend, starting Thursday, July 27th at 7.30 p.m. There is also a Friday showing and another on Saturday, July 29th. That's a matinee showing at 2 p.m. It's at the Performing Arts Center. Tickets, they are on sale at centerticks.com or just call 263 Arts. I'm sure it's going to be a great show. Yeah, uh, and if you don't go, you're missing out on a wonderful show and wonderful yeah. kids right here in our community. Very cool. All right, uh, coming up, everybody, what do we got?